Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Eastern Star 2 to Marineville Tower. Approaching from the east, request landing instructions. Eastern Star 2? That's the call sign of Ali Kali. Find out who's aboard, Lieutenant. Marineville from Eastern Star 2. Are you receiving me? Position 20 miles east of Marineville. I have VIP aboard in person of President Ali Kali. Ali Kali aboard? Fisher, give them clearance, alert the airfield, organize VIP lounge, red carpet, the works. Yes, sir. Eastern Star 2 from Marineville, clear to join circuit. Runway in use, 29. Call when approaching airfield. Eastern Star 2, thank you. He's president of one of the richest countries in the world, and he'll be here in less than five minutes. Why no official notification of his arrival? You know Ali Kali Troy, just like his twin brother, El Hudat. Maybe he's just come to visit Al Hudat in the Marineville jail. No fear of that, Troy. Ali Kali overthrew his brother. He wants El Hudat to remain right where he is, in jail. Say, wasn't it Ali Kali who recently bought the supersonic 101 passenger liners? You're right, Troy. Fisher, put up the reference photographs on the video phone. Yes, sir. She's a beauty. They were 20 miles away when they called. We should have heard her by now. Eastern Star 2 to Marineville Tower, 10 minutes from base. 10 minutes? But that's impossible. He should have been here by now. Wait a minute, sir. Maybe it's a vertical takeoff jet master. Yeah. They take a while to reduce their speed, ready for landing. Yeah, could be. But whatever aircraft he's coming in, you can bet it'll be the biggest and the latest. <laughs> How long will it be before we're at Marineville? Not too long now, Your Excellency. You can see the tower in the distance. But we seem to be heading away from it. So we are. Now enjoy the flight. It will be your last. I don't understand. Are we not going to land? I think not. For one thing, it doesn't fit in with my plans. What do you mean, your plans? Do not worry your camel's brain. You will not be around to appreciate them. Marineville Tower, this is President Ali Kali. I am in the hands of a madman. He is taking me away from Marineville. Arrest him, you dog-eared jackals. He's right, sir. Radar shows an aircraft heading for the island of Lemoy. What can we do? We can't intercept the plane. It's no good whining, Your Excellency. They can do nothing. Ali Kali. Engine is failing. 
My pilot has bailed out. Bravely and with fearless courage, I am going to follow. I love it, God. Somebody take me. <laughs> Aircraft turning, sir. Heading back to the coast. Should be in sight soon. I don't understand this. Only one pilot? What's happened to the rest of the crew? Take a look out here, sir. It's incredible. It's a miracle the thing's still flying. At least it's heading in the right direction. But why should Ali Kali use that heap of junk? There can only be one reason, Troy. He's had to leave his country in a hurry, and the first aircraft he could lay his hands on. And that means trouble, possibly a counter-revolution. So a man in our jail, his brother, El Hudat, is probably back in power. Here he comes, sir. I am now in complete control. And now, for a perfect landing. Down, everyone. He's coming straight for us. Zero. What have you to report? The plan is working well. I started a counter-revolution in Ali Kali's kingdom, and he was overthrown. Excellent! What of Ali Kali himself? I helped him to escape as planned, so that I could finish his claims to the presidency forever. And is that part of the plan completed? Ali Kali will crash within five minutes. No one could land that aircraft. Good. Then the way is clear for you to put his brother El Hudat back in power. And then we can force him to assist us in taking over the land masses. Yes, Your Excellency. And now, the next step is to put into operation the escape of El Hudat from the Marineville jail, where he has spent the last year for crimes against the World Security Patrol. I think he's going to land this time. I hope so. My blood pressure won't stand much more of this. It's going to crash. the entire base. He's got to land that plane. Down. Here he comes again. I can't stand it. He, he's coming for us again. You'll pull out in time. Yeah, it's like the movies. They always miss. Yeah, that's right. Nothing to worry about. They always pull out. Maybe not a perfect landing, but I did it. <laughs> Would you mind explaining what you were doing in that 
And that flying bulldozer? It was all I could get. <laughs> there was a, there was a revolution. I barely escaped with my life. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, I know what you mean. Anyway, who led the revolt? Your brother, El Hudat, couldn't have. He's still in our jail. You are right. So he is. But that can only mean one thing. You! It must have been you people here in Marineville who helped to overthrow me. What are you talking about? Silence, you big toe of the camel's left foot. If it wasn't you, then who was it? Someone has plotted with my brother to overthrow me. Now, look here. Absolutely no one can get to see him without my say-so. El Hudat, our plan is working perfectly. I have incited a revolution in your country. Your brother is no longer president. But where is he? Alas, he is no more. Till last I saw of him, he was crashing to his doom. Now, all that remains is to restore you as president. But we are in jail. Quiet, sun-eating scorpion. Posing as our lawyer, our friend here is going to release us. Yes, there was considerable confusion when I arrived here. If it continues, your escape will be simple. You are a clever man. When I am back in power, I will make you my prime minister. Yes, and don't forget your part of the bargain, to help the undersea races in their conquest of the land. Of course. I am a man of my word. Shh. Somebody's coming. This way, Your Excellency. Oh, wait till I get my hands on that fat pig of a brother. You. But I thought you were... Don't, don't say a word, El Huda. But you told... It's your attorney. I, I insisted you say nothing. On the grounds that it may incriminate you. Who are you? How did you get in here? Who am I? I am El Hudat's legal advisor. Don't I know you from somewhere? I think not. No, no. Now, uh, uh, Commander, it seems that you have a problem. You're darn right I have. Ten, may I suggest that the two ex-presidents talk things over quietly together? They may be able to solve their differences and agree to rule jointly. That's quite an idea. But let's get one thing straight. El Hudat doesn't leave that cell. Of course not. Ali Kali will join him inside here. Okay. But I'm staying right here. But that would prejudice their chances of a free discussion. You see, they'll be talking about secret matters of state. And anyway, I shall be here to keep the peace. Okay, then. I'll be beyond that door. I want no trouble, understand? Perfectly, Commander. You croaking bullfrog of the wadi mud. I wouldn't rule with you for all the oil beneath our land. Hark, at the toad of Traman talking. To sit with you is enough to make the camel thirst for poison. But your excellencies, won't you try to see eye to eye? <clears throat> <laughs> well done. He needed to be shut up. Yes. And so do you, pig face hyena. Anything to oblige. <laughs> now get to the cell door, El Hudad, and say nothing. <laughs> Commander, sure. <laughs> How did it go? El Hudad won't even speak to Ali Kali. Look how he sulks. That's too bad. Now, Ali Kali, you go to the VIP lounge with your lawyer. I'll join you there. Maybe I can talk some sense into El Hudad. A very good idea, Commander. A very good idea. Now, why don't you get smart, El Hudad? If you'd agree to cooperate with your brother, I could maybe get you released from jail. What's the matter with you two? You sick or something? 
They're unconscious. I get it. They've done a switch. El Hudata's escaped. Sound the alarm! Guards, open his door! Stop the jailbreak! Gotta face it, Troy. I was tricked. Guess so, sir. What's the next move? Get my brother. I want personally to wring his neck. When can we get all this equipment out of the lounge, Father? Not until the emergency squad have got the control tower fixed, Atlanta. Do you think El Hudad will have put it back to his own country? Sure he will. He's back in power now. He'll want to take over right away. We know they haven't left by air, so we can only assume they'll travel by sea. I must get back to my country before my brother takes over. I cannot allow that left foot of a camel to outwit me again. Okay, Troy, get Stingray on the way and take Ali Cali with you. I guess we've all got to save face. Yes, sir. With any luck, we'll arrive in Stingray before El Hudat does. Right. Well, then, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Eight six. On course, Troy. Good. Maintain full speed. I have now rescued El Hudad from the Marineville jail. Excellent. You have done well. I will send you a mechanical fish to transport El Hudad back to his country. Guard, order a mechanical fish to leave immediately for the island of Lemoy and pick up El Hudat to return him to Hudat Pier at full speed. The mechanical fish has been launched. Soon El Hudat will be on his way, and Hudat Pier will be ours. Good. Then your invasion plans can start. Within three months, we will have a quarter of the world land masses in our power. <laughs> With X-20's help, I have been too clever for Marineville. What I can't figure is, who's behind El Huda? Yeah, must be quite an organization. Organization. That is the key to my success. Good! El Hudat has been picked up and is on his way to Hudatpia to become our puppet prime minister, thus giving us our first foothold on the land masses. And this time, Stingray will not be there to interfere with our plans. <laughs> Woman who does not answer back. It's remarkable. Would you, would you like to hear how I became great? You would. Good. Then I'll tell you. You know, Phones, those two guys not only look alike, they have the same line of pattern. They made me president? Cut it out, Your Excellency. Marina's heard it all before. From your brother. Do not mention that son of a pig to me. We shall arrive in two hours. Good. It will be dawn then. He makes more noise than a herd of camels. Sure does. Well, I guess it won't be for much longer. We'll be approaching the harbor in an hour. Good. They are nearly there. Now, nothing can go wrong. Mechanical fish, this is Titan. Tell El Hudat to be ready to disembark. I don't want any last minute hitch. 
We will be arriving soon, Your Excellency. Good. Oh, those aquafibians are even more ugly than my toe-faced brother. Excellent. They should be there in a few minutes. My plan has worked. I have won. All my dreams of victory are about to come true. Stingray! Mechanical fish, this is Titan. Stingray is to the west of you. Turn, attack, and destroy! <laughs> Troy, there's a vessel approaching underwater. Prepare to die, phones. A mechanical fish. So, it's Titan who organized the whole thing. Okay, stand by with sting missiles. Kind of close. Okay, phones, return the fire. Good shooting, phones. Surface and stand by to pick up survivors. Eyes peeled. <laughs> Should I go in after them, Troy? All oh, let them have their fun phones. We'll fish them out when they're through. <laughs> They've knocked each other cold. Okay, phones, let's get them aboard. Say, Troy, I can't tell the one from the other. Can you? No, I can't. <laughs> they look identical. Okay, gentlemen, my orders are to return Al Hudat to Marineville to complete his jail sentence. Now, which of you is Al Hudat? He is. He is. It's no good, Troy. One of them's lying. The question is, which one? Maybe Commander Shore can tell us how we can find out. Marineville from Stingray. Captain Tempest speaking. Go ahead, Troy. Shore here. We've got him mixed up again, sir. We don't know who should be in jail and who should be president. <laughs> yeah, I sympathize with your problem. Guess there's only one way to do it. Here's what to do. Well, good morning, El Hudat. I trust you had a pleasant sleep. But I'm Ali Kali. You've got the wrong man. I don't figure it that way, Your Excellency. Release me. I'm Ali Kali, I tell you. Listen, you guys. One of you is Ali Kali and one is El Hudat. I happen to have you both behind bars, so I figure I must have the right man. Why don't you all up? I'm Ali Kali. This is all your fault. No, it's not. It's yours. I'm Ali Kali. You mule-headed bullfrog of the wadi mud. You lopsided hump of a ten-legged camel. Oh, how did I ever get into this mess? <laughs> Right. 
strange enchantments that start whenever you're near. Whisper the words that my heart is longing to hear. Your magic to me, a beautiful mystery. I'm certain to fall, I know, because you enthrall me so. Aqua Marina, why don't you say that you'll always stay close to my heart? 